All right, so in this video, we're going to look at the uh, fuel line that goes to the uh, Onan generator and a Road Trek Popular 190. So these generators and a lot of other generators can be hard to start because they draw fuel from the uh, gas tank, as we'll take a look, and they lose prime pretty much all the time. And there's no uh, electric fuel pump on this uh, Onan generator here. So if you go under the road track or the Chevy vehicles, they have a fuel line that comes off of the uh, tank here. You can see that this fuel line here comes off of the tank and it reaches down uh, about three quarters of the way down. So you can only draw fuel down to a quarter tank. That way if you're running your generator you can't run out of gas and be unable to proceed with your driving. So that is uh, pretty handy. They do allow the Onans to be hooked up to the fuel return system having up to about 5 psi of pressure going to them but I wouldn't want that because if the line ever broke you'd end up pumping your tank onto the ground. So we're going to add a primer ball to this system. So there is a quarter inch line coming off of this fitting. You could probably buy a, a new hose barb that switches to 5 16 perhaps, but the generator is quarter inch as well. So uh, we'll take a look at what I've got going on here. And this line goes up and down. It just kind of goes all over the place. So we're gonna try to work with that a little bit. And then on the generator, I don't know if you can see it or not. Bear with me for a second. This camera's a bit large. Probably not going to see it very easily. I can't see what we're looking at. But the fuel line comes here and goes into a quarter inch uh, hose barb onto the generator. So the fuel line is kind of protected by the frame rail. So I'm trying to find a place where we can put a primer ball here that isn't going to be uh, immediately in line with the wheels that we can put it. So if you look in here, we have got a water line. That's the parking brake line. That's a electrical line, a brake line. So no real gas lines going through this area. So we probably want to, like I said, tuck it in somewhere where it's not going to be in harm's way. I thought about putting it in this cabinet here so you could just open it and squeeze the primer ball. So that's a, a possibility here. Let's we'll take a look at what I bought. So the tools in the job are pretty simple. So I got a, uh, a primer ball for a boat. This is a Scepter brand. Don't buy the ones that have just a wire wounded around on either end. Those ones are really cheap and they don't last in the sun more than a few months before they start cracking and falling apart. So this is a 3 8 and the generator is quarter inch. So I went and split the middle with the hose. So I bought five feet of uh, 5 16 hose and some hose clamps here. Then just a quarter inch socket to uh, work on this. So I'm just gonna start to disassemble the existing fuel line and kind of mock this up somehow so that we can squeeze this primer ball to bring fuel to the generator before we start it. Alright, so I got the uh, original line out. You can see it's uh, about three feet long. It didn't siphon gas out of the tank. The fuel line takeoff is actually facing down, which is kind of uh, annoying. I wanted to go up. So it goes to a downward slope and back up again. And I did not lose any fuel out of that line. I did lose a little bit out of the tank side of it. So I would say it was half of the length of it was uh, empty with no gasoline in it. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but that primer ball has a check valve in it as well. So for uh, short duration uh, rests of the generator, like you drive for a couple days or something without using it, you shouldn't need to prime the uh, generator because there's a primer ball has a check valve. And if uh, you do lose prime and it's slow to start, then you can uh, squeeze that ball. So I'm just going to start to route this in. So when I took it off, I just undid the clamps and then sliced the hose with uh, a knife. Alright, so I got the line routed. I decided to go against what I was talking about earlier. 
because the fuel filler on the road truck is right here and that large corrugated line there is the gas line so it goes through the uh, wheel well area so I just tuck that in close so that the uh, debris is not hitting it and if I need to reach in there I can do that so the 5 16th hose worked out well I used every inch of the 5 feet so I would recommend probably buying 7 feet or more if you wanted to put the primer ball in that area there and you don't want it to be too taut because you need to be able to drop that generator down once in a while so uh, Rotrek uses a lot of zip ties so I just added some more zip ties to it and then that line there drops down I don't necessarily like that but that's the that's what they give you to work with so uh, I didn't want to try to spin that around because then it might lift up the fuel filler on the inside and not be able to get any gas so I guess we'll uh oh you can hear it working Trying to get some fuel out of this thing. We got the flow in the right direction. There we go. I think I feel fuel now. Not sure exactly how much you need to prime this. It doesn't. It's not getting firm like some vehicles would. But at this point, I've gotten all the air out of it. So I guess we'll uh, we'll give it a shot. So the generator hasn't run in a, at least a month. I'm thinking. So I just leave this kind of thing at the uh, exhaust and see what it takes. So unfortunately that took longer than I was expecting to get it going. So I guess uh, the, we'll have to do a follow-up video on this in a couple weeks and see if it starts better. So uh, I guess you won't have to wait that long, but I have to wait that long in order to film it. Because I want to do a, a real like uh, dry start kind of thing on this. So uh, we'll carry on in a, a little while. This has been about six weeks since I installed the uh, fuel brummer primer ball on this vehicle. I haven't used the uh, generator since the last time I ran it. I kind of think I flooded it when I ran it last time because of the, the smoke that came out there. It probably washed the rings. So I'm just going to give this uh, one squeeze here on the primer ball. Actually feels kind of firm so that might be a, a good sign. It did feel like it had some air in it but that's not unusual. So I'm just going to jump in the vehicle here and see if we get a, a better start or not.
see it didn't really start any better, so I guess that wasn't really a, a success, but at least I tried. So I guess that's uh, life with an Onan generator. It doesn't uh, start very well.